see this? This is a very important swimming cap. You might be wondering why. It's because it's gonna solve all your questions on how to deliver and uh, sell on Take A Lot. We're gonna take this swimming cap from my hands all the way to the Take A Lot warehouse and onto the Take A Lot website so you can understand how you list your product on the Take A Lot website and how you can actually send it to the Take A Lot warehouse. All right, quick, I'm not trying to waste your time. So here are the timestamps of everything I'm gonna discuss in this video. Now just skip to the part you want. Hola. The steps I will do in the following video in relation to Take A Lot can only be done once one has fully been accepted to sell on Take A Lot and has completed the onboarding process. Okay, yeah, that's enough being formal. Thank you. Anyway, um, you see why this swimming cap is so important? It's because guys, over the past few weeks and a month or so, I've been getting a lot of comments and questions of people asking me, how do you add your product to the Take A Lot website? And how do you send it to the warehouse? And what if you live in a remote area? I will solve all those questions in just this video. And I will solve them by doing everything that you need to do. But let's pretend my product, which really is my product, is gonna be my swimming cap. You might be selling something else, but you just follow the same exact instructions. Yeah. So let's get on with it. All right guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the Take A Lot Seller Dashboard. So this is how it should look. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to New Offers, Add to Take A Lot's Catalog, right? And then you're gonna say Add a Product. Since we're adding the swimming cap, I'm gonna go to uh, Personal and Lifestyle. It's gonna be Sport, Equipment, Pubs. And then we're gonna say Swimming. Spelled it wrong. Swimming. And then we're gonna say brand. Uh, I'm gonna put the brand there. So the brand of this is Yongbo. Was okay. Uh, material. I'm just gonna say elast something like elastine, elastic. Uh, primary sports swimming. Provisions level. I'll just say intermediate. Somewhere in the middle. Warranty. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna give a limited warranty. Package width. So luckily I keep a ruler around to measure my success on YouTube. And I'm currently sitting on like 163 subscribers. Thank you for the subscribers, guys. Uh, package weight, this thing, I'll say 300 grams. I think I even, it's even more, less than that, but okay. Main color is blue. There are no secondary colors. This white is not, it's not enough to, to Call it a secondary color. It's one pack. Product size, it's a one size fits all. Uh, country of origin. I know it comes from China, but I don't want to include it there. <laughs> then this is the product details, guys. And this is very important, né? because what you write here can get you a lot more sales than you were supposed to if you don't put enough effort here. So putting effort here usually is worth it because it's what appeals to customers, so they'll buy. So the first one is the title. So I have a Yongbo swimming cap here, but I'll say Yongbo professional swimming cap, you know, so it sounds, you know, professional. Subtitle, nah. Okay, key selling features. You know what? This part I'll ask Chat GPT um, because it just knows how to write these things in a slick, nice manner. I don't like this kit yours today. Make it less cliche. Dive in style, the Yongbo swimming cap. It's all about cool vibes and faster swims. Tame your mane, ride the waves, and own the pool. Now that is cool. Splash into the action today. Yeah, I like that. Let's go. Guys, I don't usually click on the keyboard this hard. I'm only clicking on it this hard because I'm actually creating content so I can look like I type really fast on YouTube. Yeah. Now the interesting part, we have to upload the images. So I'm gonna take a couple of pictures of these swimming caps and then I'm gonna remove the background and just make it pure white. 
If you don't do that, they're going to reject your product. <laughs> So I only have one image for this product. Usually I always have at least two to three images for a product. On, but this one is only one because I had challenges with like Photoshop and stuff and I just want to do it for the video. I hope it still makes sales though. Let's get selling and submit for review and then we'll wait for Take A Lot to get back to us. And yeah, what we do now is we wait. All right, so while we wait for Take A Lot to actually respond, I'm gonna be doing push-ups. You might be asking yourself, why am I doing push-ups? Well, when we get to 200 subscribers, I'm gonna do 200 push-ups. So this, this is practice. And hopefully, oh, I'll be able to do 200 in 200 seconds. guys so take a lot has replied after two days that our product is accepted basically it's sellable you know it passed all their checks so as you see now what we have to do now are the following steps that's what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna create a shipment for Cape Town and a shipment for Johannesburg so we're gonna create two shipments so we can send our stock of swimming caps to the warehouses. So if we open the Take A Lot seller platform now, if you want to see your products, the things you have on sale, we're going to go to my manage my offers, ignore all the other products I'm selling. We're going to go to the swimming cap. Once we get to the swimming cap, you will see that it is not buyable. It's not buyable because we do not have any stock at the Take A Lot warehouses. So what we have to do is we have to send the stock there, then it will be buyable. For most new sellers, for all new sellers, you will not qualify for lead time, especially with your first product. All right. So what we have to do is we have to send products to the Take Out warehouses, one in Cape Town and one in Johannesburg now, for it to be considered buyable. So for us to send these products there, we are going to create two shipments. So in order to create shipments, we are going to go to the shipments tab, then we're going to say new replenishment shipment. Then we're going to go to the swimming caps, so ignore all the other products. So, what we're going to do is, I have, I know I have a, a total of five units of these swimming caps. So I'm going to send two to the one in Cape Town and three to the one in Johannesburg. Because I'm just looking for an equal distribution of stock across the country. That's why it's two and three, which is like 16-40% something like that. So we're going to say two units to Cape Town and three units to Johannesburg. So then we're going to say create shipment right boom and you just wait there we go and as you can see it has put in the addresses of where your products have to go so I'm gonna do it like this guys to accommodate everybody for the Cape Town one I'm gonna use a courier to send my products and for the one in Johannesburg I'm gonna go deliver them myself so you'll know how to set up a shipment for how you deliver them yourself and you also know how to set up a shipment for how you can send them using a courier so let's start with the one in johannesburg the one i will deliver myself right so you'll see that these are the products we're sending and we're sending three units three swimming caps so then i'll say create draft shipment and for the one in cape town you'll see that it's two swimming caps but it's fine create draft shipments so it's going to create two shipments because this is two locations so ignore the other shipments for my other stuff I'll just you know but we have a shipment for Cape Town and a shipment for Johannesburg for our swimming caps so we're gonna go to the one in Johannesburg first that's the one we're starting with we're gonna go to click forward and then we're gonna see that it says the swimming caps and then the total number you're sending which is three units so as you can see, we're sending these swimming caps. So what we have to do before we send our products to take a lot is we have to put labels. We have to put uh, uh, 45 up labels on the product, and then we also have to put a six up label on the box full of our swimming caps. So I will show you and I will go through that. Before we get those labels, we need to download those labels from the take a lot website, right? 
So what we're going to do is we're going to download selected product labels. That is for the swimming cap. So I'll say download product labels. We're going to be printing on a new sheet of 45 up labels. I will show you what 45 up labels are just now. These 45 labels, these 45 up labels, I'm speaking too fast, I bought at PNA. So anyway, well, I bought them as a pack, pack like this, okay, of 45 up labels. So 45 up labels is basically these things. Just make them the main focus of a day engine. So <coughs> we, are, we are not going to print on this sheet. We're going to print on the new sheet. So I'll select zero because none of the stickers or labels have been used up on the new sheet. This one has been used up, obviously. So I'm going to download them. And it's going to download them as a PDF, a PDF document. This PDF is the PDF that you're going to print using your printer. I don't even have a printer at home, so I print at PostNet. So you can just send them the PDF to print at PostNet, and you must tell them to print on this. You give them, or I gave them the sheet to print on this. Some people have printers at home, so you just put this type of paper inside your printer. But yeah, so I'll show you now how the labels look once you download them. So this is how they look. So next, you have to download, uh, let me just mark shipment as complete. You have to mark the shipment as complete for you to get your six up labels, which is the label that goes on the box that you send you to take along. So I'll mark this shipment as complete. And then they'll ask you, do you have stock at hand, right? So I'll say no. I mean, so once we get here, guys, so you can see that we have a chance to download our shipping label and our shipping note. You need both these documents if you're going to deliver your product. So first, I'm going to download my shipping label. Another term for shipping labels is six up labels. They're the same thing. So I'm also going to use the new plain sheet of six up la labels. So I'm going to say not partially used. And I'll only need one sticker because I'll only be sending one box. So I'll save this in the same folder. It's always easier when you just organize all your things in just one folder. And then you also need a shipping note. Download a shipping note. Labels. So the shipping labels are going to look like this. And then I'm going to show you how the shipping note looks. And then what we have to do now is since we've got all our stickers and labels since we got our shipping note our 45 up labels our six up labels we also need a booking confirmation that's the four things you'll have to check off when you are sending to your to the take a lot warehouse when you are delivering it yourself so to get your booking confirmation we have to book a delivery now right we've already got our product labels so you also get another opportunity to download them when you're on this page but we already did that right so what we have to do now is we have to book a delivery in order for us to get a booking confirmation so we're gonna click book delivery because you cannot just rock up there you have to book your delivery right and it takes you to a different uh, website I think they call it the booking website or something similar but there's the address for it there at the top of the screen the web address once you get to this one, you're going to say book delivery. This one's very easy, honestly. And then you're going to say I will deliver in person. And then you're going to select the product that you want to deliver. Actually, you have to mark it. There it is. Basically, you select the shipment that you want to deliver. You can only do this book delivery thing after you did the previous steps. You can't start with this. You can't. Otherwise, this shipment here will not appear this shipment that says 22 September to Johannesburg and the PO number it will not appear until you do all the previous steps we did right so I'll select I'll deliver in person and then I'll enter my full name Zalo Baloi uh, and then we'll say it's a passenger vehicle right because I'm delivering in a normal car and then the, the number of vehicles is one yeah, we'll just say add selected shipments. Let me just wait for it to load. Okay, now, now I just have to confirm it. So it says my booking slot is 7 to 8 a.m. That is too early. I don't like 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. They give you an hour to deliver, a window period of an hour. I'll choose 12 to 1 because that's the one that's available. 
12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Right? I'll select that one and I'll say select booking. And as you can see, the details were filled out earlier before are here just for confirmation. And I'll say confirm booking. You cannot go back once you confirm a booking, by the way. See? That says I will deliver next Wednesday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Right? And it's very important that you get there on time, otherwise they'll turn you back. Okay, my booking has been confirmed. Alright guys, so we did deliver to the take a lot warehouse in Johannesburg. So now we're going to deliver to the one in Cape Town. And with this one, I can't go myself. So what I will do is I will book a delivery using a courier. That's what most people will do because they don't live close to the warehouse. So the steps you, I did for the delivery in Joburg are exactly the same. The only difference this time is you do not select I will deliver in person. You select I will use a preferred courier. I suggest you use a preferred courier that's on the list on the take a lot website but you can use any other courier you know in my case I use the courier guy I'm gonna go into the courier guys website I'm gonna create a shipment and I'm gonna basically put in all the details of my package and then I'm gonna pay for that shipment I'll put in the address they'll collect the box from my house and take it there on my behalf but what I have to do is I have to take the way bill number they give me after I have created my shipment, I have to take that way bill number and go put it into the Take A Lot website at this exact spot. And from here on, Take A Lot will take care of the rest, basically. The courier guy will come, collect your package, and deliver it to the warehouse, and everything will go smoothly as it has gone with my stuff. You know, you might experience challenges, but that's normal, that's part of life. Things can't just always go your way, you know. Now that we've delivered all our products, you will see that once we go onto the Take A Lot website, our products will be buyable, which means they will be live. Once the stock, all the stock has reflected and has been successfully been put into the system by Take A Lot, this shouldn't take more than two days after delivery, right? Then you will see that your things will be live and they'll be on sale and you'll be able to buy them, as I shall show you these swim caps um, as you can see there is our product let me just uh, yeah that's the one there is our product it went all the way from our hands all the way to the take a lot warehouse as I have promised and now you can buy it you know if you want but by the time you probably want to buy it I'll probably have removed this offer <laughs> it was just to help you guys I've lost I've lost stock just to help you guys actually do this thing right yeah because i'm kind like that anyway if you did like the video and if it was really helpful please like the video and subscribe and thank you for so many subscribers i've been getting so many subscribers lately uh, i really appreciate it and uh yeah what's that?